Ephesians 2.10. I'll read from the Good News Translation and KJV Translation. God has made us what we are. And in our union with Christ Jesus, he has created us for a life of good deeds, which he has already prepared for us to do. KJV, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in. Second Timothy 2, 14 to 26. I'll read from the Good News Translation. Remind your people of this. So this is a reminder. Remind your people of this and give them a solemn warning in God's presence not to fight over words. It does no good, but only ruin the people who listen. Do your best to win full approval in God's sight. As a worker who is not ashamed of his work, one who correctly teaches the message of God's truth, keep away from profane and foolish discussions which only drive people farther away from God. Such teaching is like an open saw that eats away the flesh. Two men who have taught such things are Imenius and Philetus. They have left the way of truth and are upsetting the fate of some believers by saying that our resurrection has already taken place. But the solid foundation that God has laid cannot be shaken. And on it are written these words, The Lord knows those who are His, and those who say that they belong to the Lord must turn away from wrongdoing. In a large house, there are dishes and bowls of all kinds. Some are made of silver and gold, others of wood and clay. Some are for special occasions, others for ordinary use. Those who make themselves clean from all those evil things will be used for special purposes because they are dedicated and useful to their master, ready to be used for every good deed. Avoid the passions of youth and strive for righteousness, faith, love, and peace together with those who with a pure heart call out to the Lord for help, but keep away from foolish and ignorant arguments you know that they end up in quarrels. As a lost servant, you must not quarrel. You must be kind towards all, towards a good and patient teacher who is gentle as you correct your opponent. For it may be that God will give them the opportunity to repent and come to know the truth. And then they will come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil who had caught them and made them to obey his will. We have been made for good works. And by the help of God, as we journey, we also help others, you know, to turn away from wrongdoing. At some point in time in our lives, things happen and we have to, God will bring correction to us and we have to turn. He will correct us, but we turn. It is in that turning that we are actually coming to be vessels of honor. It's a journey, and we keep moving. We keep moving. We keep moving. So this morning, I want us to just worship the one. You know, it's beautiful that it's not a dead hand. If at any point in time you realize that something is not right, at that point in time, when you correct yourself, there is a place for you. So it's not as, as though because you have done something, so automatically you become perpetually a vessel unto dishonor. By the message of God, at the point where you correct yourself, God is saying, if, we, as we read in that place, if we turn, if we would leave the, behind, and that's why I took my time to read from the beginning, if we will turn away from those things, we will be vessels unto one of fit for the master's use. 
Father, we thank you. I'll just worship the Lord this morning. Father, we thank you. Oh, Raga Shantali Kabo Shataya. Mana Kuane de Ananaya. Ele Kuanana Shabala de Adadaya. You know, as we respond to Him, He gives us grace. As we respond to Him, He gives us grace. Ona kea na na ya katomba ya da Ele la kuwa ne Ele le kuwa ma na 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 ba ya kile ya Ora kapa ya da da ba ya Thank you God for your in workings oh God Ele le kuwa ma de ya kaba ya da da ya Ebe le kuwa de de ke le de ya kada ya da 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 Eba tuwa ne Ile kamba na 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 ya da da ke Oh, we worship you, the one that is at work in us, but to will and to do of your good pleasure. We worship you, oh God. Come on, Shaladai. Elele kuwa na 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 kelele dosha Meno koma na na ne We worship you We worship you We worship you Ela koa na 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 Shanda ya la ke Ela kana mosha Under your wings As you brood of our lives We are chained We are transformed We are held We are purified We are sanctified E kana mosha na 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 E da wada ba kana mosha to know the ways of your kingdom we want to see the light of your glory we want to rise on the wings of your spirit we want to be We want to know the ways of your kingdom. We want to see the light of your glory. We want to rise on the wings of your spirit. We want to be a Kingdom. We want to see 
flutter it over a cheek. You flutter over us. You brood over us, causing forth the life, your life in us, to break open and comfort. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, Shamandalaya. Hey. hey. Oh, we are grateful, God. We are grateful. We are grateful. You have not called us to ourselves. You have not said we should just go and sort ourselves. You partner with us to ensure that we become all that you have called us to be. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful for your overshadowing. We are grateful for your workings. We are grateful. Thank you, Father, for shepherds. For shepherds that you have placed over us. Ensuring that we come to maturity. Ensuring that your life in us is fully formed. We thank you for your overshadowing. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Oh, somebody, I'm beginning to pray. Holy Ghost, hold your neighbor and pray. Ma ko ma kaya na ba sufeke da zotia na prate sufeke da manos.